Hey guys, Wow So Amaze here, and today's list is about chilling childhood photos of the most evil men in history. Ranging from innocent looking photos of a man who was responsible for the deaths of around 20 million people, to a butter wouldn't melt snap of a man that grew up to murder 17 people and then, um, eat them. Welcome to the list of 10 childhood photos of the most evil men in history. Number 10. Born in Ohio in 1934, this young boy grew up to be the leader of a cult which believed there would eventually be massive apocalyptic race wars. He believed he was the harbinger of doom regarding the planet's future, and he started up a murderous campaign which saw 37 people brutally murdered by his brainwashed followers. His name is Charles Manson, and this guy started his criminal life early. He was doing petty crimes and burglaries at the age of 13. Charles was eventually convicted for all the murders he committed, and he was also convicted for all the murders his loyal followers did, because of the joint responsibility rule. Number 9. Born February 1979, this Norwegian turned out to be the terrorist who murdered 77 people. That alone is absolutely horrifying, but it gets worse. 69 of those were children. His parents divorced when he was just one year old, but by the time he had reached four, teachers were already expressing concerns about his mental health. His name is Anders Breivik, and at the age of 23, he bombed a government building killing eight, then went into another building and shot 79. His attacks were planned nine years in advance. He even started up a successful computer programming business just so he could finance his evil plan. He was finally captured and a medical evaluation said he was a schizophrenic, and he thankfully received 21 years in prison. Number 8. Born in Austria on April 9th, 1935, he would later be responsible for one of the most stomach-churning crimes you'll ever hear about. He locked his own daughter in his secret basement for 24 years, and he sexually abused her over 3,000 times. He even fathered children with said daughter, of which one died due to neglect. His name is Joseph Fritzl. He lured his daughter Elizabeth into his secret prison and told their mother she had run away to join a cult. The police only discovered what was going on when Joseph allowed Elizabeth to step outside the prison for the very first time in 24 years in order to go to the hospital. Joseph was arrested after being seen with his supposed missing daughter. His house was searched and he was put on trial, and he received life imprisonment for his vile crimes. Number 7. This young guy grew up to be the person responsible for raping and killing 17 men and boys, and then, um, eating them. As a boy, he was neglected and had a strange obsession with dead animals. He was regarded to be a bit of a loner, and he developed a severe alcohol and drug problem. His name is Jeffrey Dahmer, otherwise known as the Milwaukee Cannibal. Psychiatrics said Jeffrey was a perfectly sane man. The only thing he had wrong with him is a very slight personality disorder. Number 6. This young guy was born in Salt Lake City in 1949, and he developed a hatred for prostitutes so much so that he believed they were the infestation of society. He later went on to murder around 48 of them in and around Washington and California. This made him one of the most notorious serial killers in American history. His name is Gary Ridgway, also known as the Green River Killer, and that's because he used to dump the corpses in the Green River. As a child, it was said he had an IQ of 82, which is far below average, and like many on this list, he grew up in a rough home. His preferred method of killing his victims was strangulation, and he was finally caught when detectives matched his DNA. He escaped the death sentence due to bargaining with the police. In exchange for a life sentence, he told them the location of some of his current tied-up victims. Number 5. This young guy grew up and sexually assaulted and brutally murdered around 100 women. His reign of terror occurred in the 70s and people described him as charming and handsome. Even some of his victims said the same. His name is Ted Bundy. People say he was disturbed due to the absence of his father, having an abusive grandfather and pornography, and that all those things are what made this boy want a life filled with murder. Bundy kidnapped and murdered over 35 women and decapitated at least 12. He even went as far as collecting their heads and storing them in his home. He referred to himself as the most cold-hearted son of a bitch you'll ever meet. Number 4. Born in October in the 1900s to a middle-class family, this young man would eventually grow up to be in charge of the World War II concentration camps, and to be one of Adolf Hitler's most trusted men. He also formed the horrific extermination camps, which would pump poisonous gas into the chambers to kill off prisoners. Oh, and when he wasn't doing that, he would be working and starving them to death. His name is Heinrich Himmler, and he was described as being awkward as a child. But that all changed when he joined the Nazi party, where he would eventually go on to be Adolf Hitler's right-hand man. Heinrich had a massive contribution to the Holocaust, and also the deaths of millions and millions of people. Number 3. 
This boy was born on April 28, 1937 to a family of shepherds. He went on to be the president of Iraq and was eventually tried for crimes such as genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. He even had a copy of the Quran written in his own blood and his evil regime was responsible for hundreds of thousands of deaths. His name is Saddam Hussein. As a child, he never knew his biological father and his brother died at a very young age. He also had a very abusive stepfather. It's said that these factors along with strong religious beliefs contributed to why he was the way he was. In 2003, the UK and the US invaded Iraq to end his dictatorship and because he had ties to the terrorist group Al-Qaeda and he was suspected to have weapons of mass destruction. He was eventually captured, tried and executed. Number two. This child was born on March 10th, 1957 and was born into an extremely wealthy and respected family, which even had ties to the Saudi Arabian royal family. He was responsible for 9-11 and countless other bombings and terrorist attacks around the world. Yep, you guessed it, Osama bin Laden. Unlike quite a few on this list, it wasn't a rough upbringing that made this man one of the most evil men ever. It was his devout religious beliefs. His beliefs led him to form Al-Qaeda in 1988 and to declare war on the US, which ultimately turned out pretty bad for him as he was eventually shot and killed by US forces. Number one. This child was born in Austria on April 20th, 1889. But who could have predicted this cute innocent child would grow up to be responsible for around 20 million deaths? He was the leader of Nazi Germany and you've probably guessed who it is by now. Yep, Adolf Hitler. The story goes that Hitler was once a happy child. That was until his younger brother Edmund passed away from measles. This changed him from a confident outgoing child to a quiet lonely recluse. As we know, this monster was responsible for mass genocide and was also responsible for the deaths of a ridiculous amount of people during World War II. He'll be forever remembered for committing some of the biggest monstrosities in history. And that brings my list of 10 childhood photos of the most evil men in history to an end. I jolly well hope you liked it. And if you did and you want to see more weird, wonderful and mysterious countdowns, then why not hit that subscribe button? Thank you for watching. See you next week.